Cool. So now that we have that, we're gonna do right. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are gonna be testing how cool does the JSOX backplate plus the JSOX cooler get when you add a 40 mil heatsink with a 40 by 20 mil fan. So real quick, we are in here with Miles Morales. We have been heating up the Steam Deck for about 20 minutes now. It's getting pretty freaking toasty. Fan curves are set to stock. And one more thing is our Steam Deck is thermal pad modded. And if you don't know what that is, that means we put a little piece of thermal pad on our heat pipe so we can better transfer heat from the heat shield to the JSOX backplate. And we're just gonna take a quick temperature reading. It is pretty toasty. The heatsink is currently at 57 degrees. Room temp is 22. It's nice and toasty in this room. Okay, so first thing what we're gonna do, we got our DB, we're at 78, 78. Um, we're gonna plug in our fan and see how quickly it will heat things up. We're just gonna rock it unplugged. We got full juice. Too many things in a way. Poppy here. If you like this type of content, go ahead, hit that like, hit the subscribe, helps the channel out a lot. And if you all want, do it for me. Do it for, for her, her. Look at her. Do it for her. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. This is a 40 by 20 Noctua fan with a 40 mil heat sink. Um, this thing pushes quite a bit of air. So our hot spot was at 57. We angled it right in here. We've already dropped down to 45. In my previous testing, we saw anywhere between a four and five degree drop, but that was with a 40 by 10 millimeter Noctua fan. This one's a little bit beefier, so we might get a little bit better performance out of it. Wow, it's dropped a lot. 27, it's dropped a lot. 74, so we're down four degrees with just the heatsink and the Noctua fan. Um, this is probably better than you're gonna get versus anything you buy in, a, in Amazon. Obviously our application's kinda jank, but it works. Um, so this fan, I don't know what's, not sure what the maximum RPM on this, maybe around 45 to 6,000 RPM, but it's a, it does push more at CFMs, if I do remember correctly. I'll hot spots down to 25. Let's look at our temps. 73, not bad. Five degree delta. Ooh, 72, six degree delta. All right, so our fan speed's down to 4,000 RPM. That just means fan speed just dropped. So we're going to call it 3,700 at 71 and 72. So because of that fan speed has dropped, the hot spot has gotten hotter. So that means that this cooler is working harder than it was earlier. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw on our JSOX cooler. All right, we're gonna put the cooler on high. All right, a DB is at 57, already dropping three degrees. Quick reminder, we've done the thermal pad mod to the Steam Deck. 24, 24 in the hotspot, nice. And span speed is super low, we're at 2900 RPM. So here's what we are at, we haven't really moved. We're at 64 and 65. So we're gonna keep the JSOX cooler on, but we're gonna shut off this this bottom fan's gonna cut out in a second. Boom. So it's out now. I want you to look at the temperature. Okay, we've lost two degrees since we've turned off the Noctua fan. So we just hit 67, 68. Our fan speed just started to kick up a little bit. That signifies me that we are probably going to uh, hold at 67 and 68, meaning that this Noctua fan and this heat tank gave us a three degree extra delta on top of the JSOX cooler. Now what we're going to do is plug it back in. All right, so we have everything back on now. And now we're just going to give it the beans. And by giving it the beans, I mean we're going to turn the custom fan curve to seven thousand rpm and we're going to see how well everything will cool so technically we're running three fans now our noctua fan here on top of our heatsink our jsox cooler and now the internal fan inside our steam deck is running at max rpm triple cooling action we have three fans going all at the same time <laughs> all right we are officially cooler than we were with just the JSOX cooler and the Noctua fan on. 
All right, guys, there we go. 61, 62. Let's talk about it a little bit. So on stock settings, meaning none of the cooler or the nocturnal fan was on, we got a 78, 78 in a room temperature of 22.5. Fan speed was pegged at 4,800 RPM with a dB of 42. Hotspot right here was 57 degrees. With just the nocturnal fan, 40 mil by 20 Noctua fan with a 40 mil heatsink on our JSOX backplate. Remember, this Steam Deck is thermal pad modded, so we have better heat transfer to this backplate than a stock Steam Deck would have. Uh, so keep that in mind. We got a 71 and 72, a delta of six in a room temperature of 22.5. Fan speed was 3700 RPM and a dB was 49. So slightly louder, but still pretty nice the hot spot was at 35 drop quite a bit secondly with the jsox cooler the nocturnal fan all on full tilt room temperature 22.5 we have a 64 and a 65 with a fan speed of 2900 rpm db was 57 pretty loud hot spot was 24 so really 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 good cooling we have a delta of 13 with just the jsox cooler removing the noctua fan we got a 67 68 with a fan speed of 3500 rpm db of 55 with a hot spot of 37 so things started warming up with just the cooler then we put everything back on JSOX cooler high, Noctua fan high, internal fan on high. We got our best temps yet, same room temperature of 22.5, 61, 62. Uh, fan speed obviously was 7,000 RPM with a dB of 59, the loudest by far, uh, with a hotspot of 26, which is kind of odd because it was the hotspot was higher than it was when we had just these two on on high kind of weird but i wouldn't worry about that number too much what we need to figure out is it worth to have the jsox backplate plus the jsox cool honestly in my opinion no and mainly because this cooler situation right here is best case scenario. We have a thermal pad underneath here. We have a pretty decent heat sink and we have a really good fan. We had only an increase of delta of three with the two of these combined, meaning that this only added a minus three across the board. It's not definitely, definitely in my opinion, not worth it. The JSOX cooler on its own was plenty meaning we got a delta of 10 in this room setting in miles morales um which is pretty good pretty dang good it's nothing to poo poo um definitely can get better temps if you turn the internal fan speed to 7000 probably closer to what you would get with these two combined so you really don't need this you don't really need this jsox backplate to combine the two together whatsoever you're just basically in my opinion just need the jsox cooler and not the backplate because when you add both of them together you only increase the delta by three definitely not worth it but if you go ahead and you crank if you have all three of them you want to get the best cooling performance whatsoever and you crank everything to the max you get the 61 62 a big whopping delta of 16 across the board but you do have to deal with a db of 59 so it's very loud very 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 loud um, but you do get the best cooling performance whatsoever which is kind of irrelevant you don't really really notice any gameplay difference which way would i rock it honestly i tend to lean on the jsox cooler just because it's just easy to put together uh, in comparison to having a fan dangling back here technically we could just permanently put a heat sink on there Maybe we'll do that in another video, but I like the JSOX cooler in the sense that it's just easy to put on and put off. One thing I really hate about the JSOX cooler is the way it attaches without its mod case and the fact that you have to charge it. That is kind of stupid in my opinion. I hate the fact that I need to charge it. Um, 
But all in all, guys, um, hopefully you guys find this video interesting. If you're on the fence of getting either one or the other or using both together, you kind of understand uh, what you're going to get now. So hopefully that helps you out a lot. Or if you're just interested to see which one works better and how well they work together, then there you go. They do work very well together and they work very well together when you add the internal fan at 7000 RPM. So really really good deltas there but other than that guys if you like this video go ahead and hit that like if you loved it hit that subscribe but other than that guys i'll catch you on the next one